What's up guys? Let me flip this around. I'm real hot and sweaty. My hair's, you know, my hair. Um, so we're out on the track. I'm actually in shop right now. We're out on the track. One, thanks for watching. Two, thanks for subscribing. Three, thanks for everything. You guys are great. And uh, we're really um, making you guys some content. So to keep up with our Tuesday night training, uh, we've been riding for a little bit, working on some... Uh, some uh, enduro style kind of drifting and connecting throttle to that on a hard slick turn. Not very easy at all, um, but if you can do it, it really benefits on a lot of tracks because not all tracks are nice loamy prep dirt. So we're working with a few of the kids that came out tonight on that. I'm gonna do it with, as you can see, I have my helmet and I'm in gear and I'm about to hop on the bike here and ride up there. Um, so. Anyways, that's what's going down. If you guys want to hang out and watch, you're more than welcome. I'm about to put you in my home for a second so I can get up to the track. So stand by. Don't go anywhere. Stand by. Here we go. Who told you that? Look at him. Who told you that? Pretty. What's up, guys? Back. We're live on um, YouTube. Ready? Come over here and tell the people what you did. Yeah. <laughs> he was inspired by the movie Motocross on the Disney Channel. <laughs> you know, I used to know people that were crazy enough to paint their fingernails. I think Spody did it at one point. Never. Never? Never. You never had arm pump, did you? I only tried dress on. I didn't never do the fingernail thing. Man, there's some crazy stories about people trying to get rid of arm pump. I got the secrets. I'm not telling anyone, except the people in this group that get arm pump. I get arm pump. I get arm pump. Brady, you're like six years old. If you get it now, Brady, you're in big trouble in about five years. What's arm pump? <laughs> exactly. You just keep that attitude. I love that guy. serious. <laughs> you don't need to know. <laughs> you know For a guy that doesn't even know what fine. Supercross is, you're doing great. A couple months ago. Hey, come on, you're messing me up. Here, take it around and introduce everyone. They know everyone, but. What's your name? Ethan Not McDonald. So close. Give him some space. Come on. What's come your number? What's your number? Fourteen. He's like, can't you read? There's Spody. Nine. I'm a Spode. Mm -hmm. Don't know much about dirt bikes. I think he's it. Fingernail. What's your name? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, don't Villa. So What's your name, Brady? Martavilla. Like what did you do to your fingernails? Painted them. Painted them what? Ready, show them. <laughs> Ooh, those are perfect. <laughs> He's got pink hair and black nails all in one week. I don't know what we're going to do with Brady. Now we need to perm. <laughs> What's your name? William Hawkins. What's your number? 17. What are you? Oh, Tell right. us your sponsors. I don't even know. I don't even um, know. Just say hey, mom and dad because that's the only thing you got. Mom and dad. Easy design. What is your name? Name? Marcello. I'm the bike. Uh, Marcello. Marcello. What's your number? 25. 25. What's your name? What's your name? Moose Mon. scan. By what? Mon. Oh, Mun. Oh, you're sponsored by Dad. Mon. Oh yeah. Um, his Mon name's Brady. That's Brady. That's back wheel Brady. Back wheel Brady. YouTube. That's his YouTube name. Spody. If he'd ever make a YouTube channel and name it Backwheel Brady, you'd get a bunch of subscribers. He'd be big. Kind of a big deal. So we're about to ride. Um, Cody's going to hold the phone. Oh, yeah? Yep. And we're going to work on braking. We are. Two wheel drifting. And then connecting that. How do you slow down after a jump in time to hit a turn? You hit the bike. That's very case you sensitive. You, Depends on where, sideways, what jump and playing. what turn. You whip and, what kind and of, then you set up for the corner. And you paint your nails and you whip and then you nay nay. <laughs> and you set up for the corner. So, um, should we explain to the class what we're doing over there? And then I can um, attempt to show you. 
I'm Rusty. I'm Cody. I'm Bodie. Yeah. I'm like Danger Boy Deegan, but he's Danger. Hey, Lane. You like Danger Boy Deegan, but you're Danger? You guys stay tuned. We're about to ride. I promise. I flew over a berm. Don't fly over a berm. I'm a boy. He's a danger boy. You're welcome for making MX a better place. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm not sure. Comment down below. Marshmallow. Uh, you said you said what's your name, Brady? And someone said quote What's your name, Brady? With a laughy face. <laughs> How do you slow down in time for a berm? Sled Crush is yelling at us, all caps. How do you slow down? Well, you, you gotta you first properly learn how to use the brakes. You no, you're down. skipping everything. <laughs> Let's assume that he doesn't know how to brake in the right position. Booty. What does that even mean? You hit the little comment thing down below. Yeah, and then you can comment. How I'm watching in my gear. Are you, are you riding, Georgie? Georgia. Minnesota. Georgia. Oh yeah. Don't you know? Brady. Olson. Motozilla. Backwheel. Brady. Brady. Can you teach us nose wheelie like hey, magical? You want no? me to do a back? Here, just tell them what a back wheelie is. A back wheelie guy. A little bit. All right, let's it. go. Let's Brady. meet over there on the back straightaway. You do a wheelie. We're gonna do that right hander. I'm, a, I'm gonna hand you over what? to better hands. How do I switch this? This is how you do a back row braiding. Oh. You really? Back. Ooh, look at those graphics. If anyone are we gonna, graphics, are we gonna go off that jump and then Hey, can I get that graphics? Yeah, we're gonna do that right you hand keep putting there. those ugly graphics on your bike. Whenever you're going some it. sweet graphics, let me know. And I'm you'll, gonna... you'll get it. But Deal? That's just teaching us turning. Like these right here. Look at these. these Got any sponsors, oh, Trace? William would say those are dope. Mm -hmm. William would say he's a dope. Why? Oh, you know, just asking, trying to give you a plug on your on your sponsors. It's not really happening though. This is when you're like, oh, I'm sponsored by the MX, MX factory. factory. The oh, you're butchering this. Let's go, guys. Hurry up. Get your helmet on. Let me go see if it's even doable. We're losing viewers right now, guys. Out. That's all I yeah, go over there on that straightaway, right before the right-hander. That was William. William's been uh, riding with us for about nine months now. He started in our Learn to Ride program. And actually almost quit on day one because he lied and said he had a stomach ache. Now he's riding better than half the group. It's pretty cool. Here's Coach. Woo! That thing sounds crispy, boy. So guys, if you ever want to support the cause, we've got t-shirts for sale online. We also have MX Factory graphics like on this guy's bike. Two strokes for life. Uh, I'm offended. Yeah, you should be. Ah, you just stalled it. Yes, most of the MX Factory guys will be at Cycle Ranch for the race, for the main event series. So what we're working on here is two-wheel drifting and connecting the corner with that two-wheel drift. We've got Coach giving us an example here. You guys hear how his back wheel is chattering versus the first time when he locked it up? It's all about that balance with your braking. Not too much, not too little. Yeah, 
That, it's a little tacky down there for what we're after, but it's doable. She'll dry out. Did you see how I was coming at an angle and braking and leaning at the same time? So what we're trying to do is learn how to brake in position, but also turn at the same time. And then when we want to make a pivot, we plant and hit the gas. So the bike should be sliding almost, like you're kind of drifting into the turn. Let me get Brady over here. He's going to know how to do it. He's got his nails painted. That's how you know he's gone nuts. So Brady, we're going to break into this corner with no clutch, right? We're going to set the turn way wide, and we got to go in there with speed so we can break the rear wheel loose where we're sliding in a little bit. And then once we get to the turn, we're going to keep sliding, but we're going to change up the slide from braking to gas. So when you get into the turn, you just turn the gas on and you keep your slide all the way around the turn. Very, very difficult. Oh, okay. Oh, you get it. Okay. That's all I had to say. Are you serious? I think I get it now. Yeah, we'll just do this loop. Do you guys want to watch me attempt it a couple more times or you want to try it? Try it. All right, let's do it. I'll meet you down there. Much back break. Already got his intro. Scale the one to good. Four. It was it was a one of about one and a half of you guys did it correctly. I, I was like, trying. I to... thought I, I kind of felt it. I was leaning in it. So here's the thing: you've got to be back and low on this. You can't be up high. Brady, you're on the front of the bike braking. You've got to be way back and low. That way you can come in with more speed. Okay? It should be heavy, heavy, heavy front brake but controlled, not just jamming it on, rolling it on, rolling it off. But also, the key to this is leaning while you're braking. So you've got to lean your body to the inside, let the back tire float out, say, like almost a foot to your left side. Okay? That float is going to carry you all the way into about where the cones are, and then all you do is sit, plant gas immediately to keep the float going all the way around. It's called steering with your rear tire. Steering sure with the rear. That. I'm sure you guys have all heard. Oh, he steers with his rear tire. Villapoto, he was amazing at that. Right, exactly. You want to be like Villapoto? Yeah. yeah. Do this differently than you just did. Brady, you have to shift down. You can't shift down here. You need that engine braking to break the rear, rear wheel loose. You've got to shift down further back and brake back. Okay? Everyone in the group could move their weight back and low into the inside. You need more back and low into the inside. So what makes this work too is coming in with more speed than you're used to, right? So we're trying to get the turn started before we get to the turn. That's why we're leaning to the inside. That's why we're turning in and braking. Chase? Um, 
So all I need to do is get back more? You could come in a hair faster and break the wheel out about six inches more and you'll be perfect. Okay. William, you got to sweep the corner a little bit more. You're choking it up. You know what get means? farther outside. You guys should be riding down the edge of the track over here. You want to make this turn as wide as possible, not as tight as possible, right? Yes, sir. So you want to come this way. That way you can make the turn wide and cut down the inside here. Brady, go ahead. Um, what gear do you think I should be in? Probably second by the time you get to the turn. Maybe fourth and shift down twice. Okay. I don't know your gearing very well, but I'm just guessing. I go second to first. Can we go? Yep. Something like this is obviously consistency. We want to be able to do this three or four times in a row, mistake free. Much back break. Look at Coach. So guys, keep in mind, this is a technique we use in flat corners that are a little dry. If you go back and watch some video of Ryan Villapoto, this is something he was really good at. edge starting to get developed here. That's the sweet spot where you want to be. Right here. 
right there. So if we watch Brady here, he's not breaking back enough. He's got to get his weight lower and farther back. That's why he stalled the back wheel there. Williams too far inside, choking up the corner just a little bit. Too far inside. Uh, you need to get way farther outside. You're riding over here. Everyone else who's doing it correctly is riding over here. See that edge that everyone's tires developing right there? You're way over here. You're not in the right spot of the track. So no, not very good. How about me? How about me? Pretty and decent. Me. Pretty and decent. Me. Me You're doing just as good as you thought you were. Is that bad? I don't know. You tell us. Brady, you got to move your weight back, dude. you got to get your butt way, way, way further back. Your knees are all the way up on the shrouds. If there was bumps here, it would kick you over the bars. It's coming in that fast. Okay? So maybe don't focus on the other things. Look at me when I'm talking to you, because I feel like you're not listening with your painted fingernails. Painted fingernails make you less, look, listen less? No? Well, look over here if you can. Okay? When you come into the turn, you know that your weakness right now is too far forward. So just move further back. That's all. Practice that. Don't try to go ahead. Drifting in the turn is a little is a step ahead of where we're at right now. Okay? You've got to get the weight back first, and then we'll worry about all the fancy stuff. Cool? Same thing with you could even get your butt lower and further back. Okay, you want to have lower center of gravity coming in. You don't want to be way up up tall. You've got to get to where you're taking that upper body and getting it low and moving your weight back. This only works if you come in with speed too, right? So, And there's no consequences to go past this little turn. So you can run it in there a little more. Hi from Russia. We got a Russian watching. Tell him to get to, get to sleep. Uh, yeah. Just perfecting it. It's hard, right? It's hard Consistency. To get it yeah. It's hard to get it to kind of stick, yeah. So we're going to do the same thing. It should be easier sitting down. So tell me how many times you've seen guys come out of a side from, from a non-supercross watcher over there. How many times have you guys seen the guys come to start straight away, be sliding all sideways, and then they stay seated and they sit upright and then they drift into the turn and then the next turn? Have you seen that a bunch? Because that, that start straight slick and flat. And there will be occasionally that you'll come up against that at some tracks that are hard packed. So let's practice that. I saw that one. I no, you did. How are we doing on here? You guys still watching? I'm from Scotland. Look at Brady, he's doing real good today. <laughs> You know Joey Mac? Nah, I don't know Joey Mac. Joey Mac, I know Joey. You know Joey? He's number 420. 420 Joey Mac. Here, I'm going to do it a couple times. 
botar. Hey guys, if you don't already follow our Instagram, check us out on Instagram. We post about three videos a week giving you guys some simple tips to improve your riding. It's at BMX Factory. Number 17, William. William's 14 years old. He just turned 14. Pretty impressive for a 14 year old to be riding a 250F as well as he has. Yeah, we know Sean Lepanovich, great rider. Thanks for the kudos, guys. We appreciate the love. Marcel, can you space out a little bit? Yeah. Space him out. You're breathing down his neck. I thought you were going to hit me. I was like, oh! <laughs> I know. Tony, did I look a little better there? Yeah, you got a fan. Somebody on here is like number 17, beast mode. <laughs> Phew! Beast mode. All right, let's do our gratefuls. We're done? It's seven. I don't know what time it is. 7.05. Can we ride a little bit? Yeah, you just rode for two hours. Is that a little oh, bit enough for you? Can we ride a little bit? Yeah, Thursday. <laughs> I've got to go build a baby room, unless you want to do that. I want to help. He made a baby. I can join. I want to make money. That's one way to look at it. Dad, like, you want to make money? Yeah. yeah. That's how they make this bucks from Segway. we got a lot of rocks out here. I'll give you a nickel for every rock. How much is a nickel? Five cents. That's probably. That's you sad. You could make about $1,000 in a day. So That's sad. You that means 20 rocks, it's going to get you a dollar. I only know currency under 100. Don't know currency under 100. That's Marcelo's team. All right, who wants to go first with their gratefuls? All right. Um, I'm grateful for Tyler and Jenny. And I'm very grateful. 
grateful for Tyler for pushing me. I think that's pretty fun when he rides with us. And I'm grateful for learning the stuff that we learned today. And I'm grateful that um, my dad took me here. McDonald. I'm grateful for the hills we got to work on today, and I'm grateful that there's a breeze. Nice breeze. Yeah, I'm a little chilly. Back wheel Brady. Um, I'm grateful for the hills that like side jump tabletop, and I'm grateful for Tyler and Cody for coaching me. I'm grateful for. Nice. I'm grateful for making it out here tonight. That I could ride with you guys for the hour and a half I had. And I am grateful that the MX Factory is growing because I remember whenever I first came here, the, the MX Factory YouTube was only 5,000. Now it's around 20 something thousand. Keep, up, keep bumping them up. That's awesome. I'm just really happy that I get to be in this place before it becomes ginormous. Um, I'm really grateful for the coaches, Cody and Tyler, and for Brady and his nails, because if you were to go to Miami, you would fit right in. <laughs> Miami. He's like, you know what, Miami's not a bad idea. Miami. Add another one. Oh, Trace wow. has a, an go. eighth grateful. That was like four. What do we got? I'm, I'm grateful for the McDonald's for letting us stay with him. Um, because I'd rather sleep in the camper than in the ground. All right. Or the hotel. Okay. I think it was fun. Who's next? Uh, grateful to be out here training with everybody. It was a fun weekend racing at Sockle Ranch. Grateful for that. Uh, grateful for Ethan's commitment and dedication. And uh, grateful for the MX Factory. Yeah, uh, grateful as well for last weekend. It was awesome to see Trace compete and to do some real, make some good decisions on the track from a strategic perspective. He's learning a lot about that and I'm grateful for the MX factory facility that I don't think it's a lot of play from here on the dirt but over there um, the training and fitness center is pretty awesome so grateful for that today El Chapo All right, well, I'll see you I'll catch you next time <laughs> coaches go last grateful for all of you guys uh, it, it's fun to be here and uh, yeah grateful for family and for, for life great gratefuls what about you coach I'm grateful that I'm still able to ride dirt bikes and um, get out here with the kids every once in a while and have fun. I'm grateful that we have a breeze right now. I'm grateful for all the people that are watching. And I'm grateful for Cody Haverfield. Haverfield. And uh, I'm grateful for doing more gratefuls than we're supposed to be doing. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm grateful for all these guys right here. And. Uh, Grateful for the MX Factory. We sell t-shirts online too. Go to our website, get a t-shirt. Nice plug. And Brady's got one more. Brady's got one more. Um, I'm grateful for I got all first at Cycle Ranch. Oh, very nice. Congratulations, Brady. Bunch of questions going on in the comments here, guys. If you have uh, questions, email us. mxfactory254 at gmail.com. Not too many questions. Not too many, though. Only a few questions. All right, everybody.